welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to download and install the packing tape mod in Minecraft 1.13.2. This mod is actually cool. It allows you to take things like chests, machines, furnaces, stuff like that, and pack them up and move them with the items that are in them. And that is actually a really cool thing, making like moving a storage room and stuff like that very, very easy to do in Minecraft. So, um, yeah, before we get on into it, we have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an awesome 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for just a few bucks a month. We love Apex so much that we actually use them to host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com. So if you want to try Apex before you buy, you can check out play.breakdowncraft.com. All that info is in the description, as well as the info for Apex. Again, there's the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an awesome 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server at a great price. Nevertheless, the first thing you need to do to get packing tape in 1.13.2 is download the packing tape mod, which you can find the official download link at the second link in the description down below. Once you're down there, you want to click on the earlier versions tab. You see that? Earlier versions. Click on that, and it will take us over to here. Now, you might be like, why didn't we just hit the download button? Because if you hit the download button, it won't download the 1.13.2 version. That's because it's in beta. So once you've hit that earlier versions button here, see that earlier versions, we can come down here and make sure that this is for version 1.13.2, which as we can see right there, it is 1.13.2. And then we can click this orange download button. See that? Click on that and it will go ahead and start the download in five seconds. Now, if you're on Mozilla Firefox, you'll get a pop-up exactly the same as me. If you're on Google Chrome, it'll be a bit different, but I'll still walk you through it. So here we are, Mozilla Firefox. It pops up in the center of the screen. If you're on Google Chrome, it'll pop up in the bottom left of the screen. Either way, you'll need to confirm you want to download the file. On Mozilla Firefox, that's easy. Just make sure it starts with packing tape and ends in .jar, which ours does, and then we can go ahead and click Save File. On Google Chrome, you're going to do the same thing. Make sure it starts with packing tape and ends in .jar, and then you're going to click Keep to save the file. This mod has been downloaded over 3 million times, so I promise it is 100% safe. And again, in Google Chrome, you're going to keep that in the bottom left. Now, we're not done downloading just yet. We still need to download our Forge for 1.13.2, and you can check out Forge for 1.13.2 and actually get the download link and get to this exact page at the third link down below. When you click that, it will take you here where we can scroll down to where we see this green Forge download link. Now, if you do have any issues with Forge, this tutorial will actually help you with those and get everything sorted out. But nevertheless, I'm going to show you how to get Forge in this video. So once you're here, go ahead and click this green download Forge button. It'll then go ahead and take us off to Forge's official website where we can go ahead and make sure the 1.13.2 version is selected. We can do this by clicking 1.13.2 here. Click on that and then make sure 1.13.2 is bold. You can't click on it. You can also see if it's 1.13.2 by seeing MC 1.13.2 here. If it says MC 1.13.2, you're good to go. You can go ahead and click on installer right here under download latest. And then take us off to add focus where you don't want to click anything on this page. Stop it. Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Stop. Okay. Your download is not ready. Stop. Don't click anything on this page. After five seconds, you'll be able to see up in the top right here, a red skip button. If it still says counting down five, four, three, two, one, you're, just wait. And then eventually that red skip button will appear. Once it does, go ahead and click that red skip button. Now, just like with the packing tape mod, we need to confirm we're downloading the right file. If we are, it'll start with Forge as ours does, and it will end in .jar. If that's good to go, you can save it on Mozilla Firefox. However, if you're on Google Chrome, it's going to be in the bottom left. And again, just make sure it starts with Forge and it ends with .jar. And if it does, you're going to go ahead and click Keep on Google Chrome. Save the file on Mozilla Firefox. Keep it on Google Chrome. Now, if we minimize our browser here, on my desktop, I have two things. I have packing tape and I have Forge. If these aren't on your desktop, no worries. Don't freak out. Just click on the Windows icon in the top left for me. It's in the bottom left of your screen. See that little Windows icon in the bottom left? left, click on that, and it will open up this. This is our start menu. We just want to type in downloads, exactly like so. Then you'll have this downloads folder here. See that? Click on that downloads folder, and you'll find packing tape and forge in your downloads folder here. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Once they're on your desktop, we're going to actually start off with Forge because you need Forge to install packing tape. So let's go ahead and get Forge installed. You can right click on it and then click on open with, and then you should have Java TM platform SEO binary. If you don't, or if you do and you click OK down here and it doesn't work, then I have a solution for you. You need to go to the links in the description down below, one that says download Java and the other that says the jar fix. The first one is right here. This is our Java development kit. You need the Java development kit in order to run Forge Optifine 
online, a Minecraft server, all sorts of stuff. You need the Java development kit, and this makes sure you get the right version for Minecraft. That way everything is on the up and up. Also, if that doesn't work, if you install the Java development kit and it's still not working, you still can't open with Java, you're still having issues, you need to run the jar fix, which is linked in the description down below. So you can go down there, click on this, and you'll find the uh, jar fix and get all of that up and running. It walks you through everything there as well. So uh, yeah, after that, you can finally come back to your desktop, right click on Forge, click on Open With, select Java TM Platform SE Binary, and then click OK. Now we'll go ahead and open up the Forge installer here, where we just want to click on this install client and click OK. Now at this point, the only reason that this wouldn't work is if you haven't ran vanilla Minecraft 1.13.2. Vanilla meaning there's no mods installed, no Optifine, anything like that. If this fails out and if this doesn't work, all you need to do is go play Minecraft 1.13.2 with no mods installed or anything like that and then come back and it will work. As we can see, successfully install Client Profile Forge. Awesome. We can go ahead and click OK there. And now we can install Packing Tape. How to do this? Well, it's pretty simple yet again. Click on the Windows icon. Again, top left for me, bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon in the bottom left. Click on that and then type in run, R-U-N, exactly like that, and then you should have this run desktop app here. Click on that run desktop app and then in the run desktop app, put percent sign, A-P-P-D-A-T-A, -A, percent sign. So percent app data percent, exactly like that right there, and then click OK. Then it will open up our roaming folder where we then want to go into the dot Minecraft folder where we should have a mods folder. But Nick! I don't have a mods folder. What do I do? What? Well, don't freak out. Calm down. It's okay. All you got to do is right click and create a new folder. Title that folder mods. M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like this. And then go ahead and open up your newly created mods folder. Then take the packing tape mod and drag it into your mods folder. And now we can go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. But before you go slamming that play button, hold up. You need to go ahead and click on this little green arrow next to the play button. Select forge and click play. If you don't have that, if you don't have that Forge profile, no worries, it's okay, we can handle it. Just click on the three lines up here in the top right and then click on Launch Options. Once you're in Launch Options here, we need to go ahead and add a new profile. See that, Add New, click on that. You can name this profile whatever you want. I'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Oh, because that is the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, that is our own Minecraft server, as a matter of fact, it is 1.13.2 Greek Protected Survival and 1.12.2 Custom Skyblock. You will absolutely love it. Whether you're looking for an incredible Skyblock server or an awesome survival server, it is the best server in the multiverse. And I don't just say that because it's our server. I say that because we believe it, because our players tell us that. Over 100 players online every single day. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. And I can't wait to see you online. Nevertheless, once you've got your profile named here, we need to go ahead and next to version, click on this drop down menu. And in here you should have Forge. As you can see, we have released 1.13.2-Forge here. And if you have multiple versions like we do, we have quite a few, just select the one with the highest number at the end. For example, 90 is higher than 89, so we're going to go with version 90 here. Click on version 90, and then I'm going to change my resolution. You don't have to change your resolution, I'm just doing it so you guys will be able to see better whenever we get in game. And then you can go ahead and click Save. Now we can click on the News tab, click on the little green arrow next to the Play button, and select the profile we created, play.breakdowncraft.com in our case, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Then check that under the Play button says 1.13.2-Forge. If it does, go ahead and click Play. Now Minecraft 1.13.2 will open up with the Packing Tape mod installed. This is actually a very, very cool mod. I don't really know how I'm going to showcase it though and like show you that it's working in game. We'll be able to see it in our mods tab, but once I go in game, we're just going to kind of figure it out and see what happens. I, I don't know, but nonetheless, I'll meet you on the main menu after a quick jump cut. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. We can go ahead and click mods right here and see that in fact, yes, the packing tape mod is installed in 1.13.2. Good to go. Now I'm going to go ahead and jump into single player and just create a new creative world real quick and just log right on into this and I'm going to see if I can show you guys this mod in action. So let's go ahead, jump cut until we're in the map. So here we are in game and uh, I went ahead and gave ourselves paper, a slime ball, and string. And I believe if we put all of this together, we will in fact be able to make some packing tape. And there it is, packing tape, right like so, good to go. Now to go ahead and grab a chest, right like that, and then maybe like some diamond armor and some stuff like that. I'm pretty sure we put this chest down and then put like all of this stuff back into the chest. We can then right click on it, I think shift click, yes, and there we go. It is now packing taped. 
Now, if we go ahead and right click on it, I think it will, oh, I was in creative. That was a fail. Let me go ahead and reset that back up. Okay, there we go. Now I believe I can break it. And yes, we'll be able to uh, take it anywhere we want. We can like move it over here into this biome, for example. I can't fly because, uh, well, I turned off creative so I could break that without breaking it completely. So now we place that down. I believe we can go ahead, click on it, and, oh, sorry, go ahead and right click on it. And sure enough, it removes the packing tape and our items are still inside. Awesome stuff, and you can see that packing tape is up and running in 113 too. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below, and be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content like this every single day of the week. We make incredible Minecraft tutorials here, and come play with us at play.breakdowncraft.com for the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. My name is Nick, again this has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.